Hey there, Tim with Perkins Roofing here, and today we're gonna to talk about the average lifespan of different types of roofs in South Florida. So we're gonna start from the beginning, and we're gonna talk about why roofs in South Florida might not last as long as in other parts of the country. So you can see right here, Florida wind-borne debris region. We live in this red area here. It's called HVHZ, High Velocity Hurricane Zone. See this red here? We have the strictest code in the entire country for building codes in Miami-Dade and Broward counties. You see Monroe is in the red here as well, but they don't have to directly abide by HVHZ code, even though it's recommended because they're so far out here that they say if a hurricane hits them, they're uh, kind of uh, too, too bad. Uh, they, don't, they don't have the same uh, chance that we have in Dade and Broward to survive a Cat 4 or Cat 5 hurricane. So this chart right here is why roofs will last not as long in South Florida as in other places. And additionally, besides this chart, the other reason why roofs won't last as long is the heat. So we've got the Miami heat, right? It's a real thing. When you have the sun rays and those heat rays on asphalt shingles, they're not gonna last as long. They bake a lot of these roofs so that they won't last as long. A tile roof that might last 40 or 50 years and um, up north will not last as long because you've got down here storms, you have rainy season where they're absorbing way too much moisture compared to everywhere else. You have heat that's gonna bake asphalt shingles or makes it impossible to install a EPDM roof down here you, unless you do a white EPDM which is pretty rare. Um, and then you've got the hurricane winds. So we have a lot of factors here. Heat, we have rain, and we have hurricane winds uh, that are gonna affect the lifespan of our roof. Scroll right up here briefly to where it says homeowner's insurance. You can see here that our insurance, this is gonna vary by the way by every single insurance carrier, but this is kind of a standard uh, way to look at the insurance and the roof lives in Florida. Your insurance will drop you if you have a three tab shingle roof of more than 15 years. Like I said, depending on the carrier, but most of the insurances down here in Florida will, in South Florida. Architectural shingles, if you don't change your roof in 20 years, you'll get dropped. Flat roofs, 20 years, same thing. And tile roof, it can be, I've seen 25 years now, but you'll get dropped from your insurance if you don't do a re-roof within 25 to 30 years. Now, insurance is a little tricky here in South Florida. So everywhere else in the state, up here in the Panhandle and on the west side, you've got a type of roofer called storm chasers. These storm chasers, all they're doing is selling insurance jobs. These insurance jobs are coming from hail damage, from other non-hurricane, like up here in the Panhandle, they get hail and they get freezeovers. Even in Orlando, there was hail in the center of the state not too long ago. So these storm chasers will drive around the state and look for wherever the last storm was, whether it be a tornado, a cyclone, uh, hail damage, whatever they can call, whatever they can use to uh, write off an insurance claim. Down here in South Florida, you don't have storm chasers because the only way, uh, they come, but the only way you get storm chasers down here and you can get an insurance claim on a roof is with a named storm. If you do not have a named storm, you're not going to get an insurance claim on your roof. So you need damage directly attributable to a named storm in order to get insurance to cover your roof. Otherwise, you're paying out of pocket, you're financing, you're doing a HELOC and uh, taking a home equity line of credit. So those are your options for paying for your roof. And that's why it's important to know what the insurance companies say is the standard time for your roof because that's what's going to be important to you. Because you want to make sure you have insurance coverage with hurricanes and floods and all kinds of things, termites all kinds of damages that can happen down here. You need to make sure you have insurance coverage, or if you have a mortgage, you have to have insurance coverage. So you need to keep tabs on your roof to see how old it is and know your policy, know the policy that your carrier has. So the last thing we're gonna talk about in this video is the roof life chart up here that uh, we created here at Perkins Roofing based on our experiences, more than 40 years of roofing down in South Florida. So what we generally see, you can see here, Here's the best roof to the worst roof as far as roof life. Number one, we've got our metal standing seam roof. 
And these are pretty generic, by the way. These are different types of metal standing steam roofs. You can get a copper metal roof, you can get an aluminum metal roof, and you can get a uh, steel kynar coated metal roof. And it's not just one type of standing seam. You can get higher seams, lower seams. There are all different variations, different panels, different um, accessories to each panel and everything like that. So one may last longer than a different one, and there's always upgrade options or downgrade options. Whatever you go, there's always a good, better, best. So this is just the average. Metal standing seam panel, about 35 years, is the best roof you can put on in South Florida. Next, you have slate tile, which stands up to the metal standing seam panel. You don't see much slate down here. Um, there's not a lot of people who do it, but you can, and it's expensive. It's more expensive than the metal, so you don't really see it down here. Third on here is clay tile. Clay tile will last next, basically, after the metal standing seam um, in our line of the, what we generally do down here in South Florida. Um, and you have concrete tile after. So clay tile, you'll see 25 to 30 years. Concrete tile, you'll see last 20 to 25 years. Now the difference, we'll get into more in depth in other videos, but it has to do with moisture absorption. The concrete will absorb more moisture than the clay tiles will. And that absorption of the moisture is going to degrade the underlayment underneath the tiles faster. So we'll get into more, more into that in other videos. But um, just know that the clay tiles last longer than the concrete tiles. A lot of people don't know that when they're doing tile re roofs down here. Uh, next in the line here is a four-ply flat built-up roof. B-U-R stands for built-up roof. And a ply is a layer. So think of a, a four-ply, three-ply. It's like a layer cake of a roof that you're putting on. So four-ply B-U-R will last 25 years. Generally, you can get manufacturer's warranties on all these items as well, not just contractor uh, workmanship warranties. Um, next would be your three-ply flat B-U-R at 20 years. After that, you're looking at TPO and PVC, which is 20 years. You can get longer, more than 20 years on TPO and PVC if you go with a higher millage. The standard is a 60 mil. But if you go with an 80 mil system or something uh, thicker and do all the right things like putting walk pads and stuff like that on your roof and you have a good contractor, you can get a 25 year on the TPO or PVC roof. Uh, after that, we're coming to our acrylic flat system, which is a liquid applied roofing system. You can get up to 20 years. Um, generally, they start at 10 years. The more coats you put on, the more years you're going to get because the more millage or thickness you're going to be building up in your roofing system. But you can get a 20-year system with an acrylic flat roof. Next is architectural shingle, which we usually see last somewhere between 15 to 20 years down here. Like I said, the shingles just get baked up by the sun. You're not going to have a 30-year shingle. Uh, or they like to, to call a lifetime warranty. That's impossible. There is no lifetime warranty on a shingle. All they're saying is basically that the shingle is not going to change chemical consistencies over a lifetime. Uh, and the lifetime only lasts about 15 to 20 years down here, if you're lucky, with an architectural shingle. Um, next one, we have our built-up flat. We've already gone through four-ply, three-ply built-up flat. This would be a two-ply system. You can do a two-ply built-up flat directly on top of concrete. Down here in South Florida, you can't do that on top of a wood deck, but you can on top of a concrete deck. It won't last as long. Obviously, the more layers you have, the longer the roof is probably going to last. Coming down the line, we've got a silicone roofing system, which is also a liquid applied, like the acrylic here system. The acrylic is the, the, the reason that nobody uses, or a lot of people don't use acrylics, and you see everyone putting silicones on flat roofs down here, is acrylic systems, you need slope. If you don't have slope, if you have ponding water areas and you put an acrylic system, the ponding water will eat straight through the acrylic system because it's a water-based coating. Water on top of the water-based coating is not going to mix well. The silicone, water can stand on top of it. That's why silicone is so popular down here, even though acrylic will last longer if you do it correctly. The silicone will last usually 10 to 15 years down here. It can last up to 20 years, kind of like the acrylic system. The more layers you put on, the better. And as long as you do maintenances, if you're not maintaining your roofs, it's going to very greatly affect the quality and life of your roofing system. If you do a new roof, and then you don't take care of it, and you let the trees grow straight into the roof, and you get broken roof tiles, and you don't fix them, then you're going to have problems. If you have a new flat roof, and you're not maintaining it, if you're not pressure cleaning it, and you've got trees and bugs and iguanas and rats and stuff, all the nasty little swamp creatures we have down here messing on your roof, 
then you're going to have problems. Um, so maintenance is a very key thing to keeping to these to getting these roof lights on here. Uh, next here we have EPDM, which you don't really see down here because it's black. Uh, they do have a white EPDM, which is more like a vanilla color than anything. And I still have only seen a couple of them on like warehouses, but they're not going to last as long down here due to the heat. Uh, then we've got TPO again. I don't know why. That must be a typo. Uh, that one shouldn't be there. And we've got three-tap shingle here at the end, which is about 12 years because most of the three-tap shingle roofs that we see last somewhere between 10 to 15 years. And um, we'll get into the difference between architectural shingles and three-tap shingles in another video and talk about some of the differences between some of these things that people think are similar, like clay versus concrete tiles, the different types of metal roofs. Um, TPO versus built up roof. We'll get into these things in other more detailed videos. Um, but for now, this is a good general chart that will tell you an average roof life of a standard roofing system, assuming that we're doing pretty good maintenance um, on the roofs, average to pretty good maintenance. And what I like to do when I'm taking everything into account is what you're going to do is you're going to take the price of the roof and divide it by the years. Because obviously the ones at the end, metal and slate and clay tiles are going to be more expensive. So how to figure out the value you're getting on your roof is take the contract price. If I have a shingle roof for $20,000 and a clay tile roof for $40,000, you take, okay, $20,000 divided by 12 years, or you take $50,000 divided by 30 years, how much per year? You're going to get more bang for your buck on the clay tile if you're doing it that way than on the three-tab shingle um, because you're going to see how much money you're getting per year out of your roof. So that's how you've got to think about it when you're doing this over the long haul. And also know how long you plan to, to, to hold the house. Are you going to move in a year? Maybe then it doesn't matter what type of roof you put on it as long as it's any new roof. Or are you going to live in the, the house for 20 more years? Do you want to re if you're going to live there for 20 more years, do you really want to re-roof again? Maybe you're better or, or deal with leaks or repairs. Maybe you're better off if you're going to live there for 20 years, just getting the metal roof, and then you never have to think about your roof again. So these are the things that you want to take into consideration when you're thinking about your roof life. And if anyone has any questions or comments, go ahead and post below in the video, and I'm going to be happy to respond to anything. So to conclude all of this, like most things in life, the more money you spend, the higher quality roof you're gonna get with less problems and longer roof life.